But first we get to Ed Green, who is out in a very snowy backyard for us right now, Ed. Uh, snowy indeed. You can see it's that heavy, wet snow that sticks to everything and is breaking some branches around town. Let's go outside, take a look at what we've got going on right now. And we do have the traffic moving along. Erica will get to that, but it's 26 degrees right now, so it can be a little slick at times. Here's some of the amounts that we got. Westminster, 8 inches of snow. Wheat Ridge, 9.7, 9.8 in Boulder. Hey, look at Corey's house. 10 inches of snow. 11.4 in Louisville. Evergreen, 14.5 inches of snow officially at the airport, 7.1. So that's what we're seeing right now. You see the storm is moving off to the east and it's pulling the snow off the front range and it'll also take the clouds along with it. So we'll see sunshine by afternoon. Keep the skies clear, but if you look to the west by uh, midnight tonight, we do have more snow moving into the area and that's what we will see tomorrow as well. So yet another system coming our way. Today decreasing clouds 37 degrees. Then for tonight, mostly clear and cold and 16. And then 41 on your Friday, 47 for the final day of the year. For New Year's Day, 40, but late in the day, rain changes over to snow once again, much like this system. And then Monday, we're at 33 degrees with snow. And Tuesday, 34 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Well, yeah, we got some snow overnight. And as you saw, over a foot of snow in some areas. And Courtney Yoon is out on the roads taking a look at it all. And what are you seeing right now, Courtney? Yeah, good morning, Ed. It's not great out there. Some of the roads are OK, um, but some of the roads really aren't. It's kind of a mixed bag out there. So I'm going to show you what it looks like here. We're on 470 headed west, uh, kind of in the Highlands Ranch area, and you can tell that the roads uh, here actually it just got a little bit better than it was even just like 30 seconds ago before you guys came to us. Um, so that's kind of what I'm talking about, about how the roads are um, OK in some areas and just really not in others. We saw plows for the first time this morning. Uh, we've been driving out for about an hour and a half now and we just saw uh, some going east on 470 here. But um, as you can see, the roads are pretty snow packed and pretty much everywhere. In some areas, if you're lucky, it might be slushy um, and those are like the best because it's not as bumpy as um, this snow packed road here. But it's uh, one of those days where the ruts are pretty deep in some areas, so you really need to find your groove um, to stay straight. We've also been seeing a lot of people fishtailing this morning, um, a lot of people going really fast, and it looks like we're coming up to probably an accident here right now, um, just to tell you and show you how awful the roads are today. If you don't have to go outside, if you can work from home today, hopefully you're on Christmas break or holiday break with your kids, but uh, I would not head outside if you um, don't have to. Yep, it looks like this car right here um, slid off onto this side of the road, and we've seen a lot of stranded cars out there this morning, so definitely take it slow. Give yourself some extra time if you need to head out today. Yeah, that's definitely the best advice for everyone today, Courtney, because we're already seeing so many problems early this morning when a lot of people are off work, not in school. We're still seeing drivers have serious issues. We've got a crash southbound I-25 at Lincoln Avenue, another one southbound 225 and Parker Road, which we have here in our CDOT camera this morning that's working to get cleared. Uh, it looks like emergency crews have cleared out that vehicle that was spun out and turning the wrong direction on southbound 225 this morning, but you can see that thick snow on the side of the interstate. It's still packed and in some places like you saw where Courtney was driving on C 470 and of course side streets going to be a lot dicier this morning. We do have that big safety closure of I 70 both ways from Watkins all the way to Burlington this morning. That's going to be an area you need to avoid. We also have that safety closure of Highway 6 between Highway 58 and 119. So you can of course take I 70 through that area instead, but uh, it's colorful on I 70 as well. This is our newest closure because of the snow conditions southbound highway 285 at Parmalee Gulch Road there in the Indian Hills area and then we're dealing with an overturned semi northbound I-25 between Thornton Parkway and 120th. We've been dealing with that since we got in the air at five o'clock uh, following traffic troubles. We also have a stalled vehicle southbound I-25 between Thornton Parkway and 84th and then quickly here in the high country we've got that safety closure of eastbound Loveland Pass between Montezuma Road and I-70 taking you back to the metro here where it's colorful on both sides of 225. So again, if you can stay home and off the roads, that's going to be your safest bet. That's good advice, Erica. A lot of color on that map this morning. Our team coverage will continue throughout the morning, of course, and we want to see your pictures from this snow day. Here are a lot of the ones we've gotten so mm -hmm. far. Your backyards, man, so much snow out there. Your dogs, though, some of them really loving it. Yep, my dog is not one of those. She's <laughs> looks, she looks at me like, I'll just hold it, you know, but you could see some of the really heavy, wet branches yes. out there as well. Get out there, get the snow off as well. Don't forget, 
time is ticking. You do have to get out and shovel after the snow stops falling, which it has. Yes, good reminder. Text those pictures if you want to keep sending them to us at 303-871-1491 and we'll show them throughout the morning. And this morning we're still dealing with major problems at the airports at Denver International Airport. 32 flights are delayed. 290 are canceled. Half of those cancellations are Southwest flights. Now this is the case all around the country and so many people are stuck trying to get to where they want to go. Yeah, that includes 90s meteorologist Chris Bianchi, who's been trying to get back to Denver for days now. But Chris, you're actually still in Indianapolis. We've been describing this as such a headache of a situation. What's it been like for you? Certainly been a headache. I'm, as you mentioned, actually at our Tegna, our sister station here, uh, WTHR here in Indianapolis, where I'm working remotely for today. Uh, I was supposed to get back on Tuesday night. My original flight was canceled back on Monday. Um, we've been trying to get basically any sort of way to get across the country, but it's been really difficult. Uh, what we have right now is we have a flight lined up for Saturday and we have a backup rental car for Sunday just in case. But um, it's been honestly quite a bit of a headache, but at this point, it finally appears like we've got some light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, how many hours have you spent at the airport over the last several days? I personally, so one thing I'll say is that I think I've been pretty fortunate. Um, I have not had to really spend a whole lot of time at the airport itself. What we've had to do a whole lot of kind of manpower with is more getting we've been on the phone with mm. rental car companies with airlines trying to get there so it's been a lot of kind of uh time again trying to get a hold of some of these rental car companies that for me has been really um quite a pain um but at this point again i do feel fairly fortunate that i don't have any of the kind of true horror stories i know there's people who've missed connections um thankfully i don't, i personally don't have that but um it's certainly been quite annoying. It's also been just difficult in the sense of not knowing how or when we're going to get home again. Now, as of last night, we finally seem to have that answer. Yeah, you know, going back to your backup plan that you're talking about the potential of having to um, get a rental car as a backup. You know, you're not the only nine news staffer that is, is, you know, not able to get back. We know you've kind of made plans with somebody else to <laughs> maybe have to pick them up along the way and bring them back. <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm in touch with uh, reporter Angela McCall, who's also who's stuck in Chicago right now as well. We've been kind of texting a little bit. And depending on whether or not we end up using that rental car, we may end up picking her up. I'm in Indianapolis, as I mentioned right now, may have to detour off to Chicago to grab Angeline. Um, again, it's just one of those really weird situations where I think we might have our answer now, but... Who knows what's going to happen here uh, the next day or two and whether or not our next flight gets canceled. Everything has compounded because right. usually this week in the news in most places you're really thin staffed, right? Because it's Christmas break. Not a lot of people are here. Then you have the weather and then all of a sudden Southwest has all of these malfunctions and it has been a nightmare. It really has been. All right, Chris, thank you so much. And now we're going to check in with you later over on Channel 20. So stick around for that one as well. Thanks so much, Chris. What a trooper. Yeah. Wow. Whether you've been stuck at the airport too, know someone who is or just worried about flying in the future, this whole situation can be really stressful. Yeah, our mental health expert, Dr. Cheryl Ziegler, has some ways that you can work through some of that stress and anxiety. I definitely empathize significantly with the level of stress that this has caused. However, what we know in the research around people who are resilient is they are optimistic. So it's interesting how you find the positivity even in the worst. And, and we know, we know this from Holocaust survivors. We know that the mindset of looking for the bright side, even in a really dark kind of time, is what keeps people going. Dr. Ziegler also says it goes a long way to be kind to staff in these situations to not heighten that tension even more than it already is. She's going to talk about that a little bit more at 7 o'clock over on Channel 20. And one thing you want to know about the weather today is temperatures are going to be on the chilly side once again, but the snow is over. We will see decreasing clouds as the day goes on. And then for tomorrow, we'll see just slightly warmer temperatures, 30s with a few low 40s and partly sunny skies. 
Ed, thank you. We want to help you get out the door. CEDA actually just pushed out an alert to us uh, asking drivers to avoid or limit driving in the Denver area today. Delay your morning commute or work from home and po if possible, like we've been stressing. Pulled up this camera on I-25 in uh, Thornton along Thornton Parkway here where we're seeing that vehicle just off the road. Looks like they just ditched the car and left it. That could have happened overnight, but uh, certainly dicey conditions. You want to make sure you have the right vehicle to be driving at all and some areas are just shut down. We've got this big safety closure of I-70 right now between Watkins and Burlington. So again, please stay home if you can.